people would be utterly shocked if they understood the amount of time and effort that goes into thinking about how we move through any large piece of architecture. Obviously, we need to move to get from point A to point B, but a good architect is thinking about what are the experiences along the way. That's true of a museum, of a transportation environment, of the line in a supermarket. We're thinking about moments like plot beats. When a designer or an architect is designing a space, they will ask themselves what do people need most? What kind of mindset do they want to put people into? The best circulation is intuitive for people. There's vertical circulation, horizontal circulation, places of movement and places of repose. It shouldn't be like a gerbil in a habit trail. It should be a very humane experience that the user has some say in. It's exciting to go to a new place, but it's also a little anxiety inducing. If you think about an hourglass, that experience of expansion and compression, all of us feel that when we travel. People have that sense that it's uncomfortable in a way that's subconscious. It's not that they're thinking, oh, that ceiling's only nine feet. You know that it doesn't feel right. If we push for a couple of extra feet or light, fresh air, their bodies and their minds are telling them that they're more comfortable. It's absolutely innate to human nature. In a place that's highly programmed, you need support confirmation that you're in the right place constantly. The transportation environment is a whole stack of experiences coming together. If those are organized in a way that doesn't give people a headache, it means they've been programmed properly. A lot of airport design, it's quite formulaic. Airside, landside, how baggage gets moved, where security checkpoints are. But hang on a second. What if there's a totally different way of thinking about this? There's a lot of potential to streamline things. Security, handling your baggage, information and content can really transform a physical place into a navigable journey for you, a story. I think having huge problems to solve is why we all get out of bed in the morning. There is always work to be done with the way we think about the air experience. Technology can really change the way we travel today.